welcome to Dr. Fan Weekly 2014. Everyone is doing business. Everyone. Guggenheim's doing business. Um, Time Warner Cable's doing business. Direct right. TV, Uverse, Vios, all those people. Doing business. Okay. What if I'm Direct TV and I'm doing business? Mm -hmm. Is it good business for me to buy into the carriage fee that Time Warner Cable is offering me and charge five more dollars for each of my viewers? Will my stockholders be happy about that? That's a good point, because if I am a DirecTV subscriber and I don't like the Dodgers, I don't want to pay five extra dollars a month for my subscription, and I am likely to cancel my subscription to DirecTV. So, is that good business if I'm apt to lose many of my subscribers? My stockholders will not be too happy about that. We're not even talking about the fans who have watched through public airwaves using antennas. That is gone. Doesn't even exist. Well, we've invited one of those fans to our show. Hello. This is James Trivers. He's an author, and he is a Dodgers fan. And are you still going to be a Dodgers fan? Initially, I was going to boycott the Dodgers. I was furious. Mm -hmm. I was angry. I felt betrayed. Who are you? Who did you feel betrayed by? I felt betrayed by all of them. I'm not able to experience the Dodgers the way I was used to experiencing the Dodgers. Instead, I have to get it sort of like from second hand, and that's um, not as much fun, frankly. You know, for I mean, I had loved the Dodgers. I had supported them. I had I, I had had a cathartic thing going on between us. So, what do you say to the people who say? Nothing's free. And stop being a freeloader. Well, you know, it just it's 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 just betrayal on the the part of the Dodgers because mm -hmm. without the people, without the populace who only wanted their plebeian pleasures, it was for everybody. It was great. Right, because baseball to you was was well an, uh, an accessible uh, pleasure. Right. And, Take me uh, out with the crowd and everyone. I could think see the it. word is accessible. Yeah. And casting used the word uh uh what, did, what was the word he used? <laughs> unfortunate. It's unfortunate that some people aren't going to get to see the Dodgers, but try and say that to the fans that are forgotten. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's just, you know, remarkably unfair and callous and sad and, you know, something that was once a beautiful pastime and still a beautiful game mm -hmm. is now being denied its populace. And if it wasn't for the populace, mm -hmm. the Dodgers wouldn't be who the Dodgers are today. Right. So, you know, kind of like Rapes of Wrath. <laughs> it is. Vin Scully and Jimbo can use <laughs> historical literature beautifully. And for coming on the show, I am going to give you L.A. Dodger Eau de Toilette. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Well, thank it was you. It was wonderful. A, it was a joy to be here. Thank you. <laughs> no matter who owns the team, we're always going to follow the Dodgers. We mm -hmm. have followed the Dodgers from Fox to McCourt to Magic and Guggenheim, and it's the team that we love. And so, just like you're saying, you're always gonna love the team, whether you get to see them or not, right? And the team will always be there, and the fans will always be there, but it would be nice if all of the fans got to see them. I'm Adele. And I'm Ann Adele. Don't forget to tweet. See, see you next week. I'll see you next week, but I won't be able to see the Dodgers next week. <laughs>